I am here with um, Jim Long, who is known as New Media Jim on Twitter. Yes, not Old Media Jim. We, we buried him. We put him away for good. <laughs> but on your bio, you describe you're the, at the intersection of New Media and Old Media. You know, yeah, on, on my blog, on my Twitter bio, it's uh, more aptly described as a, I'm a New Media soul trapped in an Old Media body. Oh, there and you I, go. That was, that was from a few years ago, so the body's gotten a little older. <laughs> But the smile is just as great. And oh. you, you have such a wonderful personality on Twitter. You're so um, open and welcoming to discussion with people. I think you have almost 50,000 followers. And we're, we're getting in that neighborhood. I think it's like 46,000. Not that I'm keeping track or anything. <laughs> Not that those type of numbers matter to me. <laughs> but you cover everything around the White House and in Washington, D.C. Yeah. And uh, you give people access to uh, a lot of great information that they might not have had before Twitter on a daily basis like this. I, th I think television is something that people take for granted, that when they turn it on, it's there. Um, and they either forget or maybe don't actually realize what it takes to do all this news gathering. And there are real people who work very hard doing this every day. And I'm, I'm very lucky and fortunate to be part of that. So you started on Twitter in October 2006. Yeah, you I was are member number 10,412. Again, not that we're counting. Again, not that I keep track of that kind of data. <laughs> so how, how did you discover Twitter and, and get started? Yeah. You know, do you know Chris Brogan? Yes, I do. Everybody knows Chris Brogan. Chris Bo Brogan I met at the Portable Media Expo, uh, which later became the Blog World Expo. Right. Blog World New Media Expo. But back when it was the Portable Media Expo, it was all about podcasting. And I had come to, be, to become very interested in, in disruptive media and very interested in people who were independently creating media and distributing it on the internet. I, I was, there was an entrepreneurial appeal to that that really was, I found very appealing. So I went to this uh, conference and I met Chris and somewhere along the, the way, maybe a month later after the conference, he reached out to me and told me about Twitter. Okay, well, what is it? Well, you get on there and you tell people what you're doing. Like any, just any minute, you know, you just get on there and you type away and you tell people what's going on right now, where you are. And I thought, wow, that sounds dumb. I mean, and, and back then, that was everybody's initial reaction. I mean, look at us now. We're all on there every day. Um, I, I think the, for me personally, the level of tweeting has diminished a little bit. But I'm still amazed at the varied amount of backgrounds that people come from, that the, the people I've met on there, um, just amazing, incredibly smart, cool people. And my, my policy for uh, friending back is pretty simple. Um, I, I look at somebody's, pr when I have the time to go back in there and look at folks who've followed me, I mean, I generally, if they appear to be nice, if they appear to be talking with people and not at them, uh, I'm happy to, to say hi and friend them back. And uh, I've been having fun with it. I've met incredible people on Twitter. Isn't it, it, it? I think it's reduced the degrees of separation to one. I mean, you can reach out to people all over the world. They may or may not respond, but hey, hey they may. And it's also, it, uh, it's a very, it levels the playing field. Mm -hmm. um, anybody on Twitter can reach out to anybody else on Twitter. If you're a CEO or if you're a worker bee, you're, you're all right here. It, all, it levels all of that out. And it's, that's what's interesting to me, is that it sort of tears down uh, social and economic stratification, and everybody can talk directly to each other, or they, or they should be able to on Twitter. And they can generate lots of uh, novel ideas from those exchanges that never maybe could have been spread. Those ideas could have been spread before. And, and you never know what somebody posts, tweets, mentions that's going on in their lives. The, the serendipity factor is incredible. Absolutely. That something they say may be the question that is most forefront on your mind at that precise moment, and there it is, right in front of your face, somebody you never met before in your life has the answer to your most pressing question at that moment, you know? Exactly. Serendipity is the best part about Twitter. Sure, yeah. How has it changed for you over these years that you've been on it? Um... It, it, it appears more structured. It, it, it appears that people are taking a more strategic, structured approach to how they tweet, 
the timing of their tweets, the kinds of things they tweet. Um, I still have no strategy. Um, sure, I, I may post links to my blog or to, to other things that I hope people take interest in, but I, I really have no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing it at any given moment. Um, it's sort of as the spirit moves me, for the most part. Well, I think your strategy is be nice, and I think that you are one of the nicest people I've met on Twitter. That is very, very kind of you to say. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad uh, we came across each other here. This is great.